just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You said my world on fire. You said my Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. Ella and I are currently outside pretty much where we ended the vlog yesterday. It's actually pretty close to Ella's nap time so I decided to bring her outside so she can kind of burn off some energy and it is definitely fall weather here. Hey Elle, don't touch that baby. Hey Elle, stop. Definitely fall weather here. It's like, yeah, it's like 40 degrees right now and it's almost 12. Katie and I have kind of had a relaxing morning. She has actually been organizing like the entire hotel room because last night when I went to go play FIFA, I grabbed a whole bunch of new clean clothes. So we have like a whole bunch of clean clothes inside and, Aid and Katie is like hanging them up and organizing them. Any of the parents out there that have toddlers know that cleaning up with a toddler is extremely, extremely difficult because they just ruin your work. So that's what Ella and I are doing. I am distracting Ella so Katie can get some of the stuff in the hotel room done. Ella is getting gigantic rocks. Thank you, Al. That's a big oh, rock. Hot. Yeah. Oh, is it hot? No, okay. She's trying to find a fork for me. You found a fork? Can I see it? See, this is what I was talking about yesterday. Like her imagination. Like this is a fork, and this is hot food. Is it hot? Yeah. Okay. Blow. Okay. Thank you. Hot. Oh, it's hot. Oh, I need to rip it apart and say pop. Ready? Yeah. Pop! I did it today. Um. Oh, it's hot. You gotta blow. Okay, eat, eat. Um, um is that good? Hot, hot. Hot, hot. I forgot it. Uh, did your fork drop? This. Oh, look, there's another one right here. There's another fork. <laughs> there you go. Eat. And... <laughs> Oh, there's another. Thank you. Oh, wow, that's a big stick. We're under a big old tree just sitting here. The things that Ella does. Now I'm freezing because there's no sun. Let's go get Bobo, hurry. Bobo's crying. She needs us. All right, we are inside now. Katie is getting Avery to sleep in there. I made Ella some peanut butter and jelly. I was giving them ass. All right, guys, we are now at Sky Zone. What was the last time you recorded? Uh, I know. Ella eating lunch. All right, so the girls took a nap. Ella just laid down, she did not sleep. But now we are at Sky Zone, and I've wanted to come here for the past couple of days, but Ben kept saying no. What? Explain yourself. I just didn't see your reasoning. You didn't see your reasoning, but it's really cold outside, and I feel like we haven't done anything like super fun with the girls recently, so we're here at Sky Zone, and I'm really excited, because they have like a whole section for either four and under or six and under. I think it's four. And so Avery can just like waddle around and it's so cute. You excited? See, Ella loves it. I love you. you ready to go jump? Yeah. Avery, are you ready to jump? Are you ready to jump? Avery looks so cute. <laughs> Hi. Katie and Ella are over there paying. <laughs> Let's go.
A B look at this. Ooh. Well, we got this whole area to ourselves. Go, Alan, run! <laughs> She's having a blast. Well, one little baby is getting tired. She's been laying down. Yeah. Oh! I'm gonna come get you. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna come get you. Joe, jump in. Come on. Ready? All right, we are home and baby's eating. So a few of you guys have caught on, but I'm actually not breastfeeding anymore. And I wanted to like explain why and like what happened. Avery is 10 months old and I breastfed her pretty much up until she was 10 months old. Honestly, breastfeeding was never the same after I left for that California trip. Like I left and then when I came back, my milk was just not the same. I did get my supply back up. How old was she when I left? She was like, Seven months. It's like it, that was before she even like had formula at all. Breastfeeding really never was the same after that trip. I think she pretty much had like one formula bottle a day from then on out just because I couldn't keep up and I couldn't feed her as much as she needed to be fed. And that one bottle a day turned into two bottles a day, turned into three bottles a day. Like it just kind of slowly was more and more and more. And then I started only feeding her morning and night because it became a hard thing to do in public she is very she was very active while she was nursing she would like climb all over me she wouldn't like feed consistent like right now she's just like on and off of it but um she wouldn't feed consistently and she would get distracted and like when we're in public it was just so hard to breastfeed it was just so much easier to give her a bottle then she started waking up throughout the night while we were in the hotel like last week and i just was like so done with it she didn't want anything but to nurse and i was like i know you can sleep through the night so i was like so done with nursing her so i completely stopped i think the last time i nursed her i don't think i fed her like a meal like nursed her meal that's so weird to say um since when like what it's been over a week huh yeah, it's been it's been a little bit. So I've been getting comments like, um, Avery is drinking bottles, like, are you not nursing anymore? So yeah, I'm not nursing anymore. I'm not in any pain because um I didn't cut her off cold turkey. She's been weaning off and only eating morning and night for a couple months now. So Yeah, we're doing good, but you're a formula baby now. Ten months is a long time. I'm actually really proud of myself for making it ten months. I made it um, about six, six months with Ella and then ten months here So maybe my next baby I'll feed until they're a year old who knows I didn't really have any expectations for myself I just said whenever I was done whenever she's done like we'd be done So I guess this is the time and we're done and you're doing so good <laughs> You're doing so good on formula. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What do you have on? Let me see back up. Do you have AV sleep sack on? Yeah, this one's tired, huh? Are you tired? Oh, she didn't nap today, so she's a little sleepy. And she got like all of her energy out. Yeah. You were sweating. Yeah. You and I were both sweating. Crazy girl. Oh. What do you have on? Um, I said Anna. Elsa Anna? Yeah, Anna. Anna Elsa, okay. Well guys, it is 6.30 and Ella is literally like fighting going to sleep. Like she almost fell asleep just sitting on the couch at like 5, like 45. So she's been kind of hanging on her iPad, kind of relaxing. She's having a bottle right now. Avery's also super, super tired. We have been playing Among Us with Gabe and Riley, which is so much fun. Literally, it's, I love this game so much, especially when like you're playing with people 
like other people, it's really fun. Um, anyways, but I am actually about to put Ella down to sleep and then probably get Avery to sleep as well. Katie and I are actually eating buffalo wings. It's time to put some girls to sleep and eat some buffalo wings. So it is now midnight. We definitely did not play Among Us for like four to five hours with Gabe and Riley tonight. Not me, <laughs> wrong bitch. Let's see what time it is actually. It is 12.20. <laughs> So yeah, that was fun. I actually talked to Riley and I think I'm gonna have her help me with designing the house. I've been thinking about maybe getting an interior designer to help me because I know what I want and I know what I want it to look like, but I don't know how to get there. And it's hard for me to picture things together when they're all separate, like picking things out when they're not together, if that makes sense. Like I wish they could display what it would look like if I picked certain things. I'm gonna try to have as much help as I can when it comes to that and I asked Riley if she could help me. Also tomorrow we're going to actually pick out the exterior of our house. We actually haven't even picked it and our appointment is tomorrow morning so we're gonna have to wake up and go pick that out and I still don't even know what I want. So that's nice. For a few days I was feeling pretty down. Like when we got into this hotel I started to feel like really down and it was hard for me to like process what was going on because I felt like there was just too much out of my control that was going on and I like had a breakdown which you guys obviously didn't see but Ben talked about it a little bit that I was like pretty stressed out but I've been feeling better we kind of have slowed down these past couple of days and have taken some family time and done some fun family activities so that's been really really good for my mental health to kind of just slow down and focus Anyways, um, it's been good to like slow down and focus on family and the kids. And me. <laughs> Go away. You stink. You stink. No, that was, no. Uh -uh. We have to figure out a house color. What do you think? I think whatever makes you happy, bro. I don't know. I don't know what else. We're like reconsidering doing stucco. I think that we should just figure out the siding color. And then if we want to change the circle, we still have like a, at least a month. Okay. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram before you leave. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. You set my world on fire.